All right, boys and girls, back with another video here. We're looking at Module 2, Topic E, Lesson 17. All right, number one says estimate the quotient for the following problems. The first one is done for you. So for A, they had 821 divided by 41. They said that's a round. Remember, this is not an equal sign, but our estimation or our approximate number, excuse me, approximate symbol, 821 is around 800, 41 is around 40. So we had 800 divided by 40 is 20. So remember, we did this extra step where we said 800 and we factored out 40. We said 40 is equal to 4 tens or 10 divided by 4. And then we divided 800 and we said, well, 800 divided by 10 would be equal to 80, and then 80 divided by 4, or we said 8 divided by 4 is 2, so 8 tens divided by 4 is 2 tens. That's how we came up with that 20. All right, so just in case I might, I probably will do that extra step, a couple, at least for B and C, so that we can get used to seeing that, or that's what we're used to seeing, and I'll just show it again. So we know that first we're going to take our divisor and round that to our nearest 10. So we see 23 is around 20, and 617 is around 600. Now, two tens and six hundreds, they are compatible. Here, that's an easy division problem right there. All right, so let's go ahead and do this the way that we've been doing it. This is equal to 600. Divided by, and I'm going to factor out this 20. 20 is equal to 2 in the tens place. So I can say that 600 divided by 20 is the same thing as saying 600 divided by 10 divided by 2. 600 divided by 10. And remember, on my place value chart, my 600 is just going to move over one place value unit to the right. So that's 6 tens. That's equal to 6 tens divided by 2, and my final answer is going to be 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 6 tens divided by 2 is 3 tenths, or a third. All right, this is the last one I'll do this longer way, and then for D through F, we'll do the shorter way here. If you want to add in this step here, feel free to. So we have 39 as our divisor. We know 39 is around 40. You always have to start with your divisor. You have to start with your divisor. And you're just rounding that using front end estimation. Since I have a 10, when I read this number from left to right, I come to my tens place first. I know that I'm around to the nearest 10. The nearest 10 is going to either be 40 or 30. We know that the midpoint between 40 and 30 is 35. So this 9 is my control number. Five or above, we shove it up to 40. All right? Now I'm going to say, well, what's a number that's compatible with 40? So I would list out all of my four time tables. I know it's going to be 800 divided by 40. And we say, well, I know that I'm going to say this is equal to 800 divided by 10 divided by 4. 40 is made up of four tens. I took my, we talked about these base 10 numbers being bougie. This 10 has its own place value unit, so it thinks it's special. It wants to go first. Even though we say four tens, we write it down when we factor it out as 10 divided by 4. All right, so 800 divided by 10 is going to be 80, and then divided by 4. So I know that 8 divided by 4 is 2, so that means that 8 tens divided by 4 is 2 tens, so it's going to be 20. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our next letter. D here, remember, I have to deal with my divisor first. I'm going to round that to 50. Round it to the nearest 10, since it's in 5 and the 10's place, and it's either going to be 50 or 60. I know 52 is closer to 50 than it is to 60, because my midpoint between 50 and 60 would be 55. 52 is below my midpoint. My control number is the 2. 4 below, let it go. Stays at my five in my tens place. All right, so now I want to round this number to a number that's compatible with five. 
So I know that a number that would be compatible with 5 would be 500. This is an easy division problem. 500 divided by 50, I know I'm going to say, well, 500 divided by 10 divided by 5. 500 divided by 10 is equal to 50 divided by 5 is equal to, well, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 50, or 5 tens divided by 5, is 1 ten. All right, next problem here, E. Same thing, I'm going to round my divisor first. Dividend, divisor, your answer is your quotient. Remember the vocabulary. So I have 50, or 5 tens. 48 is closer to 50 than it is to 40. And then I say, well, what's a number that's close to 50, excuse me, close to 531 that's compatible with 50? We're going to stick with the 500. Well, somebody says, well, why didn't you round it to 530? Right? So, or 600. If I have 530 divided by 50, that's a difficult problem. I'm going to have to go into long division, which we didn't learn yet. So this is a much easier problem when I'm just using the estimating my quotient. I want to know what my quotient is going to be around. So the answer for this is going to be around whatever I come up with at the end. All right, so let's see. I know that 500 divided by 50 is equivalent, is equal to 500 divided by 10 divided by 5. 50 is equal to 5 tens, so 10 divided by 5 can uh, substitute. Now I know the same thing here. I'm going to take the same 50. 500 divided by 10 is equal to 50. 50 divided by 5, once again, is equal to 10. So my answer for 531 divided by 48 is going to be around 10. All right? Moving on, 73 is around 70. 141 is around 140. Do you see my front end estimation? I know that 14 is a multiple of 7. And 7 is a multiple of 7. If I have my 7 times table, it would be 7, 14, 21. So I would have my multiples of 70 now. 7 tens, 14 tens, 21 tens. So I know if I had 14 tens divided by 7 tens, it's going to be equal to 2 ones. All right, make sure you don't make a mistake here. Remember, we have tens divided by tens. So if we take this and do this step here that we've been doing in the past, we say, well, 140 divided by 10 divided by 7. This is why you avoid making a mistake. I almost made this mistake earlier and said 20 when the answer is going to be 2. Watch here. So I know that 140 divided by 10, we put 140 on our place value chart. Everything's going to move over one place value to the one place value unit to the right. So that's going to be equal to 14. And we have 14 divided by 7. We know 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. So 141 divided by 73 is around 2. All right, let's take a look at the next page here. We have 81 is our divisor. We're going to round that to 80. Always start with my divisor first. And I say, well, 476, what is close to 476? What can I round 476 to? That's a multiple of 8 tens. So I'm going to list my multiples of 8 here. So I have 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 9 is 72. So now I need to say, well, if I did my 8 times tables, how would my 80 times tables look, or my multiples of 80? All I need to do is add a 0 on the end, and now instead of having 8 I have 8 tens. Instead of 16, I have 16 tens. Instead of 24, I have 24 tens, and so on. 
So where would 476 fall on this chart? It would fall right here between 400 and 480. I know that this number would be closer to 480 because it's only four digits away. All right, so I'm going to take my 480 divided by 80. This is going to be my compatible numbers. I know that I can get an easy division problem out of this. I know 48 divided by 8 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So then 48 tens divided by 8 tens is also going to be equal to 6. And if we struggle with that, we can go back to doing it this way, where we say 48 tens divided by 10 divided by 8. 48 tens divided by 10 is going to be 48. And then I have 48 divided by 8, which gives me 6. All right, let's pick up the pace here. I know that I'm going to round my divisor to 70. Then I say, well, what number is compatible with 70? I need to list my multiples of 70 and try to find out where it's going to be close to. So I know it's going to be multiples of 7 with a 0 on the back of it because I'm going to multiply it by 10. 7 times 10 is 70. 14 times 10 is 14 tens or 140. And we're going to just continue. 21, 28, 25. Let's add our zeros in there. We have 5 times 70 would be 35 tens. 5 times 7 times 10. And then 6 would be 42 tens. 7 would be 49 tens. 8 is 56 tens. 9 is 63 tenths. So I know it's going to be 630 because 645 is closest to 630. So I'm going to say 630 divided by 70 is equal to 630 divided by 10 divided by 7. So 630 divided by 10 is equal to 63. 63 divided by 7 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Everybody see how I did that? I did the, this part of the problem first. 630 on my place value chart. I move it over and we get 63. And then 63 divided by 7 equals 9. All right. Moving on. This is going around, 99 is going around to 100. Compatible number, we're going to bump this up to 600. 600 divided by 100 is 6. Pretty simple one there. Now for this, we're going to set round this up to 30. Six, excuse me, 26 rounds up to 30. And to make it compatible, we're going to bring this 301 down to 300. Same thing here. You know that this is equal to 300 divided by 30 which is equal to three tens, or 10 and three. So divided by 10, divided by three. 300 divided by 10 is 30, and then 30 divided by three is equal to 10. All right, moving right along. 81 is around 80. And then we're gonna say, well, a compatible number with my eight times tables, or we just gonna look back up here, we're not gonna write this list out again. Here's my eight times tables here. I see 720 is very close to 729. How many times did I have to go down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know that it's going to be nine when it's all said and done. But let's go ahead and finish up the math. 720 divided by 10 divided by eight. I know this is going to be 72. When I divide by 10, it's going to move over one place value unit on my place value chart to the right. Everything's going to move over. 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. All right, moving right along. So we're going to round up to 30. And for this, we'll say 600. So now we have 600 divided by 30. That's equivalent to 600 divided by 10 divided by 3. 600 divided by 10 is 60. 
divided by 3 is equal to, or 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So 6 tenths divided by 3 is going to be equal to 2 tenths. Looking at M, we're going to round this to 90, and we're going to round this up to 900. Now you say, well, Mr. Kennedy, you rounded that up to 900 instead of 800. It's closer. Your control numbers are 3. Remember, compatible numbers. 800 divided by 90 is not compatible. They're not compatible numbers. So 900 divided by 90 is a compatible number, and we can see that this is going to be equal to 9 divided by 9 is going to be 1. Then 100 divided by 10 is 10. All right? I just did that a different way, but we can write it out the long way. 900 divided by 10 divided by 9. 900 divided by 10 will be 90. And then 90 divided by 9 is 10. All right? The easiest thing to do here would be to round this down to 70. And you say, well, we're not going to rewrite our 7 times tables or our 70 multiples of 70. But I can see here that 350 is compatible with 70. So I will put this, I'll round this to 350. Remember, we're saying what's approximately going to be our answer. If I said you had $345 and you shared it by 72 people, an easier problem would be to say, well, you had around $350 and you shared it with around 70 people. Not too far off. I'm off by five dollars and I'm off by two people. Not too far off, so the answer is going to be very close and I can do this very easily. Watch this. I know it's going to be 350 divided by 10 divided by 7. So that's going to be 35 divided by 7. I got my 35 because remember 350 on the place value chart is just going to move over one place value to the right to become 35 when we divide by 10. Remember, if you don't know your division, just use your multiplication chart. How many times do we have to go down when we multiply by 7? This was 7 times, or excuse me, 70 times 1, which is 7 times 1 if we take the 0 away. 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4, 7 times 5. So I know my answer is going to be 5. All right. Last one. O here, 11 rounds down to 10. And our 559, we're going to round up to 600. You know, 600 divided by 10 is going to be 60. Remember, on the place value chart, 600, when you divide by 10, everything's going to move over one place value unit. Don't forget your decimal, it's 6 tenths. All right. That is it, boys and girls. Hope this helps. Remember, tomorrow we have our exit ticket. Make sure you're prepared. I would do this work uh, on your own and then use this as a tool to check your work. Remember, you cannot be truly successful on these tasks if you're not practicing the right way. All right. Happy learning.